Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tobes here. Welcome back to another video. And this time, I wanted to make a first impressions or thoughts of this game. Since I've played this game for a good while now, I think I have a decent amount of hours on this game. Um, since I got it, I pretty much haven't gotten off this certain game. But, I wanted to make a sort of first impressions or thoughts and opinions of this game. Uh, people have asked me to do this, this sort of video, so I am going to do it anyway. But, let's start off from where we're looking at right now, so um, the My Home screen, I like it, I think it's much easier to, to navigate, you have everything here, pretty much like everything uh, is in this in this section here. Um, Grand Turismo 5, everything was like sort of clustered up into one little area on the screen, this is more spread out across, you know, left to right, so I like it, it's nice and clean, everything is where it's supposed to be, um, it's cool. Anyway. Uh, let's start off from the left here. Uh, your notifications and stuff like that I don't really care for because I never actually use these in... Um, I don't know if these are messages or what the hell these are. I think this, these are from Gran Turismo that you get. Uh, status is pretty much what uh, what my stuff is on this game. You know, all of my accomplishments, I guess. I have 51% of the game completed. Uh, I have 65 out of 75 license awards completed. Um, 287 out of se uh, 573 uh, stars, 26 car zones, um, I'll just scroll down so you guys can see instead of me, t you know, telling you guys everything. Anyway, um, how much did I spend in race? I just noticed that 21 hours total driving time. That's, that's, that has nothing to do with me, it's like sitting in the menu and doing stuff like this. Um, driving only, I spent 21 hours on this game already. Anyway, gallery and of course the garage, which is self-explanatory, I'll go into it anyway. Right out of the Tesla Roadster because I am doing a certain race, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, I like the way it tells you everything about the car. I like the way... The main thing I really, really absolutely love about this game is wherever you are, in any sort of menu, in anywhere, you can press start and it comes up as a little side menu there, which I think is absolutely brilliant. You can go into car selection and you can change to a different type of car, which is great. You can go into car settings you can change the settings of your current car, which again is fucking brilliant. And then the options, which are of course the options where you can change your uh, controller sound, um, you know, video, audio, all that stuff um, is all there. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you go to the right, we have the open lobby and seasonal events. Seasonal events aren't that great at the moment because they're only the first set of them out, and these are only the um, you know the, the like time attacks, and you don't have the, you don't you just don't get decent money off these races. Uh, the only one I've done is this because I don't have. Uh, I don't have a Ford uh, Focus SD and I don't have the Honda Fit. I did have it, but I sold it because I bought tires f from the money that I got for it. Anyway, Open Lobby is multiplayer, which I think is great the way it uh, it works. I set up pretty much like a whole, um, you know, I, I pretty much set up a whole online thing and then I wanted to see what it was like and I saved all the settings and it's great. So now if I want to go and create a new world, um, I already have, or not world, a new lobby. I've already got all the. Uh, things made my my previous room comment was gypsy. <laughs> um, anyway, so they're all saved here, pretty much exactly what what it was like the last time. And you can load and save different types of settings. I think you're allowed to save three. As you can see, I already saved one there, which is for friends only. Um, if I go back, um, again, the the rest is just the same as Grand Turismo Five. You just search for a certain lobby with ID, or you can just do it through you know just looking through the list there. Single player is very cool because you go if you go into single player you can choose one of these. This is pretty much like sort of like arcade mode, um, but if you do this you can go on the single race which you take part in, uh, other you know, with, other, with other players and stuff like that, which is I guess all right. Um, party play is for you know multiple people, split screen and stuff like that, which again I like the way you have your arcade mode here in the my home screen as well. You don't have to back out. Events are pretty cool. Um, one thing I don't like about them is that the championships don't give out cars. Only some of them do. Very, very few of them actually give out cars as prizes. Um, it's kind of annoying not having cars, you know, constantly given to you. Because in Grand Turismo 5, every time you completed, like, a, a championship or, or a certain type of event, you just get a car, right? But in this, you just don't. And it's kind of annoying. It's it's a lot more difficult to, to earn money in this game. I actually buy a car, which is one of my dislikes or I guess cons about this game. Is I, I don't like the way it takes so long to get money so you can buy a car. Uh, which brings me to my next point that loads of cars are completely, utterly, stupidly expensive. 
um, they're not very expensive, so you can't buy them. It's just that the way you have, you get only such a small amount of money. They're they're way too expensive for you know for the cars that you need. Right now, I'm at one million one hundred thirty-three thousand because I've been grinding out so much, um, playing the game so much just so I can get a, a bunch of money. But I like the the way they brought back Coffee Break. I like the way there's these uh, mission races, which did these ones I didn't do yet. But I like the way these are mission. You have like mission races, which pretty much tell you what to do. Um, super challenges, which are really, really, really one thing that I really love about this game right now. Um, you don't have 24 hours of Le Mans anymore. You don't have 24 hours of the Nurburgring um, as endurance races. You have 24 minutes of them. To be completely honest, I prefer the 24 minutes over the 24 hours I, so much more because so you don't, you just don't have time to do 24 hours and it gets so fucking boring. Uh, whereas in this, in the super events, you still have to do like an endurance type race. You have to go in and check your tires. You have to uh, refuel and do all that stuff. You just don't have to do it as much as the 24 hours one because it's obviously only 24 minutes. And of course, the race is still long because it's 24 minutes long. But it is just not as annoying as the 24 hours one. And uh, it's just so much better. So that's one thing. Big thumbs up for that. I love that. It's great. Dealerships, I love the way that they put every single car that they have in the dealerships. You don't have to fucking go ahead and go into like the used car dealership and wait for a car to arrive and blah 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 blah. Recommended cars again is a pretty good idea. Um, you know, it tells you what cars to use where like for certain types of races. So it's, that's all right. Vision GT uh, pretty much gives you your your Mercedes Benz. You just go and press X on this, and that's how you get your. Um, the Mercedes Vision GT, whatever it's called, the, the concept thing. If you want to have this car as your own car, you just go here, you press the Mercedes, and you get it. Um, these are pretty much the all the rest of the, the concepts, which I'm very looking forward to because they look pretty cool. Um, tuning parts. Okay, tuning and uh, servicing. What do I think in this? Pit service is great. It actually tells you when your car's rigidity is fucking up. Whereas in Gran Turismo 5, I don't think it ever told you that your rigidity was was messing up. Um, it was getting worse. Um, oil change is much more frequent now. You have to do an oil change much more frequently. It actually you can literally sh like see the, the the power of the car going down from race to race, which is great. Um, custom parts, I like it. Mm, it it doesn't have the amount of body kits and big customization that I thought you'd have, but again, like, this isn't Need for Speed, this is Gran Turismo, this is more of a driving game, it's not more of a modifying and street tuner game. Anyway, I like it, I like the way you can remove the wing, one of my favorite features in this game right now, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, tuning parts, this is sort of useless, but of course it has to be here because it is part of tuning, it is sort of useless because all you can do is go into car settings and you can buy everything off here anyway, so... Uh, having this here is kind of pointless, I guess, because here you have to go and you literally have to purchase every single part and then you go out and then you have to change all the parts through your car settings, whereas right now you can just go in your car settings and change them anyway. But uh, Racing gear, uh, very expensive, I don't really care for it to be honest. Um, paints, I think you get paints if you go ahead and drive the cars that they tell you to drive, because right now to be honest, I don't remember I like I don't have three different types of red paints I don't have um I don't have these many cars in my garage to be uh, to be honest and I don't I don't really I didn't know how I got all these paints I, I also have a chrome paint which I don't remember exactly how I got it but basically um you get all these paints I think from going ahead and driving the cars that they give you like let's say if you go and you drive something uh something painted uh, volcanic red I I saw that on the screen, that's why I remembered it. Um, then you get the paint full kind of credit in your thing. I think that's how it works. If I'm wrong, please correct me down in the comments because I don't want to be completely wrong for everybody. Uh, the I'll go back to custom parts again. The selection of wheels I think is absolutely great. Um, they could have done better, but I guess this is... I, I don't know. I'm happy with the selection of wheels that they put in the game. Goodwood Festival Speed is fun. It is really, really fun. Uh, I completed all of it, uh, but it's really, really fun testing out all these cars in Goodwood. Um, at the beginning, you kind of like, what? How is this track, you know, so so skinny? And how are you going to get around this track so quick? Uh, but in the end, you're literally going to be able to do that. And it's 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 brilliant. You have to actually get used to the track first before you actually go and drive on it. Lunar Exploration. Boring, slow, but it was still fun. It was still funny the way they actually included something like this in the game. Um, 
and it's pretty cool the way you can literally drive on the moon. Photo travel, not as many places as I thought you'd have, only five places, which is kind of meh. But you can do a bunch of random stuff in this, which I'm not going to spoil for you guys. You guys have to go and try, try it out yourself, which is really, really cool. And I am really happy with this. Uh, now, if you go into the racing scene, I really love the new suspension settings. I love the aerodynamic settings. I think the, the game looks looks much better than the than Gran Turismo 5. Some people say it looks the exact same. It doesn't. Um, you can clearly tell that there is uh, you know visual differences. The rounded edges and the rounded areas are much more rounded because they use a different sort of uh, system to make you know circles or rounded shapes. Um, so the, it looks much smoother. It doesn't look like jagged you know straight lines just going across your screen. Uh, the game looks so much better. You know the 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 spin of the wheels or or the way it corners and the way it shifts its weight in the corners and uh, I don't know. I think the game is is much better and also the tuning that you do to your car actually influences on the track uh, uh, quite a lot. Uh, one thing I dislike about the the tires is that the comfort tires usually give out such a horrible screech. It's like uh, it continuously, you know, bounces up and down on the tires, and uh, it's it gives you such a really, really bad noise. And I think they have to patch that because that uh, it just can't be like that for the rest of the, the time you're playing this game. It just sounds so bad. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, all of my Grand my videos so far. And if you did, please leave it a thumbs up, and uh, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.